Hello, 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 I'm back for fourth insert title. Today, we're gonna to speak about a serious issue faced females in the last couple of days. It's Call of Duty. FIFA was the first wave of Filoni chicks. Then just when they started to reconciliate, they had that little period between end of October to beginning of November to just get that good kanduki right there. Then we get Call of Duty. Kind of peak for girls right now. Man them, man them. Real talk, yeah. You guys are on Call of Duty as we speak. You're probably not even watching this right now. But your chick is that someone who owns a Wii's house getting duped. She's getting duped right now. You guys are glued to your screen and you're just like, oh god, I gotta kill this guy, I gotta kill this guy. But people with Wii's are like, yeah. That motion with the with the remote, just mmm. See, we all laugh before, before, every other time of the year, yeah, we laugh at the people that have wings. He and Mario will be spit roasting your girl with Yoshi's tongue just coming at the back. <coughs> We've got a reporter, top guy, Mario Douglas, he's back on the streets again and he's finding out do girls really know about modern warfare? Take it away, Mr. Mario Douglas. Thanks, Mario, that's some fine supporting going on right there. But today we're on the streets of Bristol and we're going to be asking females what this symbolises. To a lot of men, this means unemployment. To a lot of females, this means lonely night, cold Christmases. But right now we're going to find out what it actually means to them and how they can counter this, how they can combat this. So, well, let's go. What does this post to mean? Oh, that's that cod thing. Game. <laughs> I know it. I want it. You want it? Oh, okay. Do you know what cod means? Do you know what cod stands for? What does cod stand for? Call of Duty. I know the MW is like a modern warfare. MW3? Modern warfare. MW3? What does this poster mean to you? Hours and hours yeah. doing nothing Boys else. playing on their Playstations or Xboxes, shooting people. Yeah. yeah, and screaming. Yeah. What does this mean to you? Both of you? Badass game. Badass game? <laughs> Pretty much. My social life. Yeah. Brilliant. And where is your boyfriend right now? Don't have one. <laughs> because of COD? No. Not because of COD. <laughs> Okay, where is your man right now? Don't have one. Don't have one. So. <laughs> is that because of COD? No. However, before I broke up my ex-boyfriend, I did buy him Call of Duty to keep Ooh. him in state. So, yeah. so you broke up with him by buying him COD? Yeah. <laughs> there you have it. There you have it. That's Perfect a good answer. Girlfriend. Yes. <laughs> and final question. What does that mean for you two? It means like, I'm very lonely all the time and she has lots of friends online. <laughs> pretty much. Is this reconciliation now? Is this like this over? Yeah, this is pretty much it. Hey, yeah. I tell you what, you gotta look out for the Wii players. Because you playing con, you know. You gotta watch out for the Wii guys, you know. Well, you're the Wii, what, the really small people? I have attempted to play it before, but I played Yeah. Oh, yeah. and you want to play I it? I can stab people. Like, yeah, but then they shoot you. That's it. So you guys have won our magic prize. <laughs> You've won cod. You've actually won cod. Yeah, you've won cod. You've won cod. <laughs> yeah, <I think> <laughs> you've won cod. I've lost my work. Whoa. Yeah, don't play it all at once. Oh, we win something. You get cod. That's <laughs> <laughs> awesome. You've actually got cod. Yes, congratulations. You're our first winner today. What is it? Look at this amazing prize. <laughs> I've just got it. It's a cod. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've been giving away a few cod today. Um, seems like a lot of girls, they, they know what cod is, they, they're clued up. They go on like they're dizzy, 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 but they know what cod is, really and truly. So when you're, so man them, when your girls are going up to you and they're, and they're acting like, oh, you're always on cod, they're playing at like a next man judge. So simple things is, don't be fooled by what your girl knows, she knows about cod. And on that note, my name's Amari Douglas, back to the studio of Amari Douglas. That's basically the reason why we do this, because we just want to find out. We just want to know from their mouths what is actually going on. They're, they're tuned up to the world, you know what I mean? We give them a little credit, but they know a lot. 
There's been a lot of banter in the news about Mr. Mikey Campbell cliched fool into an older disabled man's head. I'm not gonna lie, I mean, I go to Jamka, that's my regular. A friend I know was in the shop at the time and he witnessed this live. I'm not gonna lie, that would be kind of funny. I don't know if it was me and he shaved fool into my head, yeah. Me being the type of person I am, I would probably try and make a joke out of it. Even though I'm in the right, yeah. I would end up getting arms, he'll probably snap on me and somehow make it my fault. I don't even know how I would react to that. I'll probably set the shop on fire or something. Yeah, he got 200 hours community service. I think he still got his job at Jam Club. Ah, it's a, it's a tough one, it's a tough one. He does my hair, I, I like him to do my hair. No, I can't condone what he did, it's, it's out of order. But I, I sent out a broadcast earlier on, got a few reactions from people in my, in my BB, what they would do. Someone said shave off his left eyebrow, spit in their eyeball, tell him to shave full into my pubes. Tell him to lick me out ASAP, shove the razor in his mouth, I would find out where he lives and rape his wife. Won't be shaving with fools into a couple of people in my BB. Comrade Murray is in the news. He's going to Penn for four years. He managed to get a good position, get a good job, and he ended up working with Michael Jackson and he ended up killing him. Fuck it, he's a nigga villain. He's a, he's a nigga villain. That's as simple as that. He's looking after the guy. He goes out. I don't know what he's doing. He comes back and Michael Jackson's dead. What are you doing? Now white people are going to be there drinking their coffees in the morning like, Oh, you see that Conrad Murray? Yeah, I'm never going to trust my black doctor. Fucking me. This is the reason why white people get on us. I can't be a doctor because everyone's going to be like, Oh shit, it's going to give me too much propofols. You killed my chances. You killed all my youngest chances of becoming doctors. But on the flip side, could have been set up. It was probably a white doctor that told him to administer too much propofol to Michael Jackson, you know what I mean? He couldn't have acted alone, put it that way. He's getting paid 150 bags a week. He's not going to be that stupid to neglect him. It was probably a white doctor that was like, Comrade, you're going to have to take the bar for this, man, you know? They were probably saying that to Comrade, but around the round table, they were probably like, <laughs> getting rid of two niggas with two stones, okay. I reckon it was those days. Of my name is those guys. So my name is those guys. He must have been tight with those guys anyway. Bottom line of it is, man got four years for murder. He didn't get the death penalty or he didn't get 20 years. He's probably not even going to Penn. He's probably going to a secret island where they go and just fuck each other up their ass with goats. It's only speculation. I'm not going too much into it. It's been an enjoyable show. You said have fun, man. Add my pin 278953D. Keep it locked, South Blessed, at Twitter, at South Blessed, Facebook, South Blessed, www.southblessed.co.uk. Make sure you watch it, pop it, lock it, drop it. Couple of shout outs, shout out to my girls in the audience, Nilfa and, and Sarah. If, they, if their parents watch this, then you bloody get on now. Um, happy birthday if it was your birthday this week. A quick rest in peace to, to Joe Frazier and Heavy D. Quick shout out to Sinead Binks. Love you. And yeah, all, all my niggas, Vince, lucrative. But it's just gonna turn into one of those. Hold it down, free, free, my, free my nigga. Da -da 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 -da. Nah, 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 it's not that guy. <laughs> everyone, I'm shouting out on road. So yeah, shout out to everyone on road. Keep doing your thing. Shout out to Heartbreakers Club for, for going in with your, with your clothes and shit. Shout out to Perfume Shop for giving me a job, for getting me on the payroll. Hold it down, my niggas in London. Hold it down, my niggas in Africa. Hold it down, Pop Boy. That was a big program. Hold it, hold it down, Circle of Revenge. Your shit. Hold it down, Manchester United. Rate you forever. Hold it down. At my gamer tag, Modern Granny Warfare. Hold it younger.